Hello. In this lecture, we'll learn how to use wave modifier in Blender. Let's press Shift A and add a plane. Let's press Tab key to go to edit mode. Press S key and scale the plane 10 times. Press E key and extrude little bit. We need enough vertex number to generate smooth waves. Let's press Ctrl R and add vertical and horizontal loop cuts enough and evenly. Now, let's go to modifier menu and add wave modifier. Let's play the animation by pressing spacebar. As you can see nothing happens. We need to enable this button to display modifier results in edit mode. We can also turn on the editing cage. Let's go back to object mode. Let's right click and make shade smooth. When we disable the cyclic option, the wave effect doesn't repeat. If we disable the x-axis motion, the wave will be generated only on the y-axis. If we disable the y-axis motion, the wave will be generated only on the x-axis. If we enable both axis, it is going to generate a circular wave. As you can see, the wave displaces the mesh along the local z-axis. But if we enable the along normals option, displacement happens along the face normals. we can increase the height of the wave. The width value is the distance between waves. The narrowness value is the actual width of each pulse. Start position is coordinates of the center of the waves. So, we can change the origin of the wave. We can also use another object's origin as center of the wave. Let's add an empty object. Let's select the mesh again and go to modifier menu. Let's select the empty object to start position. Let's select the empty object and move around. There we go. Let's go to time section. Speed value is speed of the wave. Life value is lifetime of the wave in the frames. If we set the lifetime to 40, the wave will end at frame 40. When set to zero, loops the animation forever. Offset value is the frame at which the wave begins. Let's set the offset value to 100. In this case, the wave will start at frame 100. But, 
offset value sometimes would be frame at which the wave ends. Then the speed value must be negative. In positive speed, the direction of the waves is from center to outward. Let's set the speed value to negative values. In negative speed, from outward to center. As you can see, the waves come from outside to inside, and the wave animation ends at frame 100. Damping value is an additional number of frames, in which the wave slowly damps from the height value to zero after life is reached. Damping value is set to 10 defaulty. Let's set the life value to 60 and play the animation. As you can see, the wave damps out within 10 frames after it dies at frame 60. We can set higher values, so that the wave dies much more smoothly. Let's set the life value to 100. Fall off value controls how fast the waves fade out. If we set the fall off value to 5 meters, the waves will fade out after 5 meters. We can also use a texture to control which vertices are affected by the wave. Let's press new button and add a new texture. Go to texture properties menu. Let's select what type of texture we'll use. For example, let's select the magic texture. Then, play the animation. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.